new tonight, a legal battle brewing over emergency help regulations proposed by Governor Newsom. Advocates say the rules would hurt people with disabilities who rely on medical CBD products. Your reporter Ashley Sharp is getting answers. It's been life changing for us. Jana Adams' daughter, Brooke, first started having violent seizures at three months old. Not one medication helped until they tried CBD. She's gone three and a half months with no seizures, and so that's incredible. The Northern California family says new emergency regulations on the hemp industry proposed by Governor Gavin Newsom are well intended but could have devastating consequences if they cut off access to CBD products for some of the state's most vulnerable. You know, it's not just for kids with medical yeah. needs. It's also for yeah. veterans. Yeah. There's, a, I mean, five million people in California that take CBD. Newsom wants to crack down on dangerous, unregulated THC-infused products like Delta-8 that are intoxicating and often marketed to kids. You see so many of these products specifically in and around in grocery stores near high schools, near middle schools. CBD advocates say they support regulations, but call these too broad. We're the collateral damage of these state policies that are wiping out the whole category instead of just wiping out Delta 8 if that's their issue. Paige Fiji is director of the Coalition for Access Now. There's no solution. There's no place for this to be purchased under these rules. Adding that CBD advocates believe a lawsuit is the only path forward, claiming Newsom is out of line. I think this is outside the, the authority of the governor. CBS 13 asked the governor's office to respond to that allegation. They said, we don't typically comment on blatantly false claims. We have completely changed the dialogue around CBD, and this is sending us back into the Stone Ages. Public comment on these emergency regulations ends tomorrow. Governor's office indicated the rules will take effect immediately if approved by the Office of Administrative Law.